What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to do another lead code challenge question. I've really been not really doing these questions at all for the days, but this is the best time to buy and sell stock. Alright, uh, so let's say you have an array where the ith element represents the price of a stock on the day i. So we have to design an algorithm to find the maximum profit. You may complete as many transactions you like, buy and sell one of their share stocks multiple times. You may not engage in multiple transactions at the same time. You must sell the stock before you buy again. So in this case, we have the 715364 array, and the output is 7. And the reason why is because if you were to buy 1, like buy on day 2, and then sell on day 3, which day 3 is, uh, they're counting index 1, so 1, 2, 3. Day 3 is 5. If you buy 1 and then sell day 5, when the price is 5, you make a profit of 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. Then if you buy on day 4, which is the price of 3, and then sell on day 5, the price of 6, you're going to make a profit of 6 minus 3 equal to 3. Okay, and let's look at the test cases, uh, the second test case. If you were to buy on day 1, the price is 1, and sell on day 5, you would make a profit of Five, uh, five minus one is four. Yeah. So if you were buy on day one, you were to sell on day five, and the price is five, five. You would have a profit of five minus four one is equal to four. Okay. So essentially, they want you to find the. They really just want you to find the difference. Right. Sum up the differences, but um. It's not just like find the next difference that's right next to me because like let's say I have 7 and then I subtract 1 that'll be minus 6 so I lose money right like if I do like 1 minus 7 that'll be minus 6 so that's not really what I want um, let's look at this example 3 7 6 4 3 1 the output is 0 because no transaction done maximum profit is 0 okay so if you're buying on 7 all the values afterwards are less than it, so you so you can't really sell anything with a better price. So your maximum profit is zero. So I actually solved this problem, and uh, here's what I did. Uh, this is really ugly code, but what I did was I started from the beginning and I went to the end, and then I pretty much just kept track of the index of whichever value is greater than it. Right, so like if I have seven, then I find a value that's like larger than seven. Then I'm going to subtract. Uh, I'm going to stop. Right, I'm going to stop, and then I'm going to uh, add my profit. I take, I subtract the large value from the small value, and then yeah, then I re like reset my new index at where that starting point ended from. So that's what I did, and it, it passed actually. I actually passed the test cases, but I'm not really sure like. It's, it's not really it's not really a good solution I guess so what I did was like I went through it, it and then I pretty much found whichever price I was larger than it than the current one I'm at right so this is this this is just going through every single uh, price afterwards and comparing it with left and right with the one next to it and finding if I get to a larger price then I stop and then I subtract by the difference at each indexes that's what I did and I'll add to my maximum profit. Then I re add my whichever index I stopped at, I set that to equal the new index and I return max profit. And uh, ideally, uh, worst case scenario is that you have to. Maybe this is O of n, I don't know. I'm not really sure. If, worst case might be O of n squared. Da, 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 da. Well, no, no, no. I think it is still O of n. I don't know. I'm not really sure. I don't know the time complexity to this. I should really learn more about that. But um, uh, let's look at the actual solution. So if you look at the actual solution, what they did was they, they wow they actually graphed every single profit. Okay, so they graphed every single profit, like every day with its profit. So day one they have profit one. Day two they have seven. Day three they have Two, day four they have four they have day four they have three day five they have six day 
six, they have seven. Yeah, okay, so they graphed every single of this. And then from the abo above graph, you see that the sum of the differences A, B, and C from every single ones that are greater than it is really just the difference between the heights of the smallest and the largest peak, right? Smallest and the largest peak. So what did they do? They just looped through and um, wow, that's all they did. Okay, wow, okay, maybe we should use this code instead. So they looped through and then if they found a, well, this is technically what I did, sort of. But if they found a price that's larger than the previous price, then they add the differences of the current price and the previous price. Hmm. Okay. Wow, that's way shorter code. But yeah, that's that's pretty much the solution. So you're going to loop through from every single price and then if you find a a price that's larger than the previous price, you're just going to add the difference of the largest price and the pre uh, the larger price and the previous price. And then after that, you just return it. So yeah, uh one single pass o of n o of 1 constant space. Yeah, so that's how you do this question. Um it's basically just trying to find you the differences when you mean like selling for profit in the price but yeah that's how you do this question rate comp subscribe i hope you guys enjoy this video it's pretty short but yeah peace